Skills that pay the bills. What a topic. Um, it, it really is an interesting thing inside of uh, our profession of network marketing. I tell people all the time, skills are the thing. If you're going to focus on anything as you start, focus on the skills because the skills will help you gain confidence. The confidence will help you take more action. The increased action is going to help you get more results and that's going to encourage you to develop more skills. So really it's, it's a virtuous cycle. And um, what I want to do here today is have a conversation about those skills. Uh, I've got a, a friend of mine, a guest that's coming in. Um, it's going to be joining us in just a few minutes. But I struggled in my network marketing experience when I first got involved until I developed a basic set of skills. I talk about it in GoPro. Uh, I've trained on it for the last 30 plus years. I just really believe uh, a couple things. The, the, like I said, the skills will build confidence. The confidence will help you take more action. The action will get you better results and it'll be a virtuous cycle. The other thing that I believe is the skill set inside of network marketing is actually the highest paying skill set I'm aware of in comparison to the difficulty in learning it. Um, the, the skills are not very difficult to learn and yet they're very highly paid. So there are much more difficult skills that don't pay as much as these skills do. So the, the, the pain of learning them is worth it. It's worth it. Yeah, because I, I truly believe that once you develop the skills in network marketing, you never really have to worry about paying your bills for the rest of your life. Because those skills will continue to create um, earning opportunities for you. So that's what I want for all of you. And and uh, as we're starting this broadcast today, um, do me a favor, smash the share button. Whether you're watching live or replay, let other people know. I've got uh, uh, economist Paul Zane Pilzer, um, best-selling author. He's going to be talking about the value of network marketing coming up in just a little bit. And I've got, to, I've got Dr. Bob Rakowski, who's going to be sharing his insights on the skills that pay the bills. And um, I'm looking forward to being able to share that with all of you. And I think your friends will get some value in that. Um, but do me a favor, as we start, rate, if you took, if you took a look at the, the, the skills in network marketing, let me give you the, the seven fundamental skills. Finding prospects, inviting prospects, presenting, following up, closing, getting people started effectively, and promoting events. Those are the seven fundamental skills in network marketing. Do me a favor, every one of you that's watching, rate yourself on a scale of one to 10. 10 being absolute world-class at the skills, and one being absolute novice. Where are you right now? Rate yourself in the comments, one to 10, 10 being world-class, one being novice. There's no such, there's no, no shame in being a novice because every world-class person started as a novice. So throw in your number, all right? Uh, throw in your number. I see, you know, some. I see an eight, congratulations, five, lots of ones and twos and threes. You know, being honest, thank you. Cedric says a, a nine, fantastic. Um, so whatever number you are, that's a baseline. And what we, I want the training to be today is the ability for you to be able to improve that number, improve that baseline, okay? So uh, let me bring in uh, Dr. Bob Rakowski. Dr. Bob, how are you, my friend? Hey, happy, 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 beautiful day, Eric. I am epic. Oh, at, fantastic. I'm excited to have you today. And uh, you've been involved in this profession for how long? Nine years, nine and a half years. Nine years. And during that time, you've been part-time. Is that correct? Yeah. Uh, we actually have, my wife and I, five other businesses. But, you know, as you've taught us, if you do the right activities and you develop the skills, you can develop a global empire. 
Uh, and thankfully, we've done that. So building a global empire over the course of the last nine years or so, part-time. How many hours a week do you think you effectively you work in your business right now? Well, a minimum of 10, probably average of 15. But, you know, we have some blitz weeks, especially around events. So we have some 40, 60 hour weeks about three times a year. Uh, but, you know, 10 is going to be the consistent minimum, 15 typical and some blitzes. So if, if I, um, without this being uh, any sort of income claim or, or anything else, about how much do you earn working 10 to 15 hours a week? Can we talk about that or no? Uh, you know, there, there's rules against that, but our company okay. is giving us this big award, right? Where we get this, it's like the equivalent of a Super Bowl ring. And there's a, a distinction on it says 500K. And by the next one would say like 1M or something like that. But we yes. have somewhere between, and I won't make an income claim, <laughs> right? Right. You, we're, we're not promising that we're not yeah. promising that anybody else is going to make that. And we're certainly, and, and uh, Dr. Bob's not trying to... Uh, uh, recruit somebody into his business based upon that. I, I just want, I, I'm trying to just lay out uh, uh, a part-time case study as far as what's possible. Okay. Uh, what's possible for a person to be able to go out there and succeed. So uh, Dr. Bob, I want to give you the floor and let you start uh, sharing with people some ideas on how they can develop skills that pay the bills. All right. All right. Fantastic. And, and everybody else, Pay attention as he's sharing ideas and comments. Put put your notes into the comments. Help everybody else out. Smash the share button. And if you're getting value, you know, just pound on that love heart um, and let let him, you know give him some encouragement as we're going. So, Dr. Bob, the floor is yours. All right. Well, Eric, thank you always for your friendship, for your leadership. You know, I think it goes without saying that you've elevated the bar of the entire world of network marketing. You know, for those of you that may or may not know, we're in a mastermind with Eric with over a hundred of the world's top earners. And so he's constantly elevating his game, keeping his finger on the pulse of what's actually working as the market changes. And the first thing we're going to talk about is finding prospects, because I promise you that's changed quite a bit, even in the last year. You know, uh, they've taught different sessions on social media where they have people that are succeeding. You learn from people always who are succeeding. And I'm going to quote Fraser Brooks. And, and Eric introduced us to Fraser a number of years ago. Phenomenally successful, very entertaining. You know, it's really his whole life in network marketing, his first network marketing meeting. He was in utero. Uh, and that's so fascinating. But here's what, what Fraser is going to tell you to do. You want to turn strangers into friends and friends into family. So think about that. You know, can you find prospects easier than ever? Sure. You go on Facebook, you go on social media. And some of the giants in the game have built exclusively through social media. And keep in mind that people want to be valued. So when you find someone on social media, you find some content they have, make a really nice comment, make a share, start a conversation. And, and it's when you start the conversation that you turn strangers into friends and you keep that conversation going. Eric's going to make this statement, all business is a conversation. Always keep the conversation going. Uh, and once you have that really good friendship kindling, the know, like, and trust, and, and by the way, depending on what you have in common, that can happen fast. It can happen as fast as a matter of a few days, or it may be something that you need to cultivate and keep cultivating. You want to make sure you have that know, like, and trust relationship going. Now, when it comes to inviting, you know, Eric has such a fantastic skill set in terms of, of getting the invitation. I'm going to share a book called The Art of Connection by Michael Gelb. This guy's an absolute genius. Uh, he's got a number of books out there. And, you know, he was asked to write his uh, guide for life and success and happiness. And he came to realize that life is the art of connection. I tell a story many times. I've trained with grandmasters in a, in a lot of issues. Eric's a grandmaster in network marketing. I've trained with grandmasters in mixed martial arts. Uh, and one day my mixed martial arts grandmaster, you know, who likes to teach me a lot of things, asked me a question. He says, you know, Bob, I'm going to give you three and only three words to define success. Well, I had thought about that quite a bit even before I asked it. So I said, health, happiness, and prosperity. 
They said, well, Bob, those, that's a pretty good definition, but I want to share with you what my grandmaster taught me, if you're open to, to listening. I said, of course, I'm always open to learning. And by the way, there's a tip, always a student, sometimes a teacher. And he says, all right, my grandmaster taught me that success in life is relationships, relationships, and relationships. So I want you to think about that. Real estate is location, location, location. Business is competitive advantage, competitive advantage, competitive advantage. Life is relationships, 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 and especially network marketing. So the art of connection is going to tell you in, in a lot of simple terms, seven steps like Eric loves so much, the way to connect with people. And the first step I'm just going to talk about a little bit, that is basically humility. Uh, and C.S. Lewis had a very interesting quote on humility. He said, humility is not thinking of your, uh, you know, not thinking less of yourself, but it is thinking of yourself less. So whoever's in front of you, whatever their need is, if it's, you know, if they just need to be heard, if they need a shoulder to cry on, if they need a mastermind, if they need to be connected to a community, you want to be able to help that person with their needs. So I have an acronym, CALLS, C-A-L-L-S. And the first C, that, that's CONNECT. So the art of connection, humility, listen to that patient. Uh, there's another quote about listening. It says, so few people are genuinely listened to that when someone does listen to them, they often think that it's actually love. And by the way, I think it might be. I think that listening might be a way of showing pure love and compassion and all those good qualities. But the A in calls is going to be to ask questions. Remember Albert Einstein, he said, you know, if I had one hour to solve a huge problem where the fate of the world depended on it, I would spend the first 55 minutes figuring out what was the right question to ask. Use that model with your prospects. Keep asking questions, keep asking questions, keep asking questions. Uh, and by the way, so many of us want to talk. Now we have two ears, one mouth, and so we should use those in proportion. I like to tell my, my team members, pretend that you have 10 ears and one mouth. We want to listen 10 times as much as we speak, uh, especially initially. And when you ask a question and they start going on, just give them a nod. Mm -hmm. Oh, tell me more. Hmm. Okay. And keep it very, very simple. Keep asking questions, keep asking questions and listen. So the L is two L's, calls. Why do I have two L's for listen? Because that's doubly as important as every other step. You've got to listen. You've got to listen genuinely. Uh, listen with your heart and don't listen for the next thing that you're going to tell. Just listen. And then what's the S for? Stories. Uh, and Eric will teach you that the best storytellers throughout history are the ones that are remembered Leaders speak in four languages. One of those languages is stories. So <clears throat> when we get to no skill number three, which is the presentation, keep in mind that, you know, if you're in the audience, do you want people to be interesting or interested? And when someone's interested in us, suddenly they are a lot more interesting to us. So there's an interesting book called Talk Like Ted. The TED Talks, the most famous talks, billions and billions of views across the planet. And they have the 10 commandments of TED. And the first commandment is thou shall tell stories. So what do stories do? They connect people in an absolutely beautiful way. You connect the emotions. And remember, people are mostly emotional. There's a mix of emotion and logic. But if you're going to move a person, if you're going to persuade a person, Abraham Lincoln advised you want to do it through their emotions. Make a heart-to-heart -heart connection. Find out what's important to them. Uh, and then make that connection with your story. While I'm talking about TED Talks and talking like TED, there is a TED Talk entitled The Magical Science of Storytelling. Uh, and I will encourage you to look at that. And it tells a very powerful and interesting lesson about storytelling. So this gentleman bought 200 items from eBay or, or some little websites like that. And the criteria for what they purchased, they had to purchase items that were less than a dollar. Then they went out and they had a, a group of authors write a very short, compelling story about the item. 
Now, they bought $129 worth of items, and when they sold them online with the story, the total money that was returned was $8,000. So think about that. Could you turn a $129 into an $8,000 item with the right story? Well, go look at some of the designer bags that are out there. You know, I don't know that they have much more than $129 of raw materials and labor into them. Maybe they do. I don't know what their profit margins are. But is the markup very, very substantial with that story? Carry this bag. Uh, and you know what? You're going to be a rich girl. Residual income creates happiness is, is what re, uh, Stormy Wellington, phenomenal earner, phenomenal trainer, phenomenal exam, uh, example teaches but when you tell the right story, you dramatically increase the value of any connection. While we're talking about stories, you know, we had the joy of uh, being trained for a full year by the best of the best in the game. Uh, and Pete Vargas and Pat Quinn taught us how to tell our story, how to create a signature talk. Uh, and they've trained some of the best in the best. They've trained Tony Robbins. They've trained Eric and Marina Wari. Uh, you, you look at what they've been able to do and how they change the world. And they say the reason that network marketing has a black eye is because they violate a lot of rules. And, and here's what they're going to tell you. Don't be cheesy. Don't be cocky. And don't be flashy. You know, don't be flashing the bling. That actually tends to be a turnoff for most people. But instead, start with a heart opening story. Then you're going to give some you know, uh, facts. That's going to be the head component. And then you're going to have a call to action. So that's basically the hands. And then you close with a heartwarming story and preferably one that gets people more excited to take action. So, you know, I have five other businesses was very successful before network marketing. Uh, and you might wonder, well, why in the world did I ever you know, jump into saying, I'm going to build this business. Well, I had a scare. People moved by inspiration or desperation. I was living a pretty inspired life. A lot of things were going very, very well. But one day I had a shoulder injury. And it was bad enough that I had a shoulder x-ray. And when I got the x-ray report back, the words that the uh, radiologist wrote on the report was MRI or bone scan recommended. Well, here's what I got to tell you. If you're a doctor and you see bone scan recommended on a report, uh, your level of concern goes way up because that means they're looking for cancer. Now, I've been very, very healthy and have had wonderful healthy habits. So I thought, gosh, that's, that can't be. That's very low risk. But two years earlier, my best friend died from cancer. He had a melanoma, skin cancer that he just didn't pay attention to. Uh, and by the time it was diagnosed, it had metastasized to his brain and body. And here was a super strong, healthy, fit, amazing being uh, in a short period of time gone. So that got my attention. And back then the x-ray report came across my office fax. And I happened to get the report right as I was leaving town. Now think about that. You're leaving town and suddenly you've got this very significant scare and there's no way you can follow up for a week. You know, I, I think that was a really divine gift that that radiologist put on that report because I said, oh my gosh, all of my businesses depend upon me. My family's financial security depends upon me. I didn't count on making a quick exit. What if I'm going to leave quickly? Then I remember the wisdom, your network is your net worth. And I want you to process that for a moment. Is that true? Look at the most successful people that you know, the most successful people in the history of the planet. And you're going to find out that your network is your net worth. So I said, all right, you know, if I only have six months in those six months, I'm going to plug in. I'm going to make this happen. And I went on a 90 day run. Eric Worre talks about a 90 day run. Uh, and guess what? We achieved the highest rank or, or the premier rank, right? They have high ranks that are, are, are uh, beyond amazing. You have to get a big portion of the planet. But, you know, the rank that they call big time. We did it in those 90 days, and that was the uh, teachings of Eric Worre and that amazing bliss. So as you're telling the story, connect with the person, connect with their needs, connect with their wants, their don't wants, and ultimately we want to inspire them. So follow up, we'll go back to all business is a conversation. So you wanna keep the conversation going, you want to stay in rapport. 
Now, a lot of people have heard that the fortune is in the follow-up. Interestingly enough, I see a lot of people that have issues with money. <laughs> and Eric, by the way, is very, very good at, at teaching your prosperity consciousness and, and teaching you that you actually get paid to add value. And your paycheck is really a symbol of how much value you've given, how much you've created, how much better you've made the world. But instead of saying the fortune is in the follow-up, I've come to say the blessings are in the follow-up. How many people can you bless by being persistent, by staying in conversation, by staying in rapport? Uh, and remember, very, very simply, people don't buy on, on uh, your schedule, they buy on their schedule. So when you stay in rapport, when you are constantly adding value to their world, when timing is right, they will typically reach out to you. So as I, I look at this last year, you know, Eric has always encouraged us to create our own brand. So I put health tips uh, out on Facebook every single day. And when I had colleagues that suddenly found themselves out of work and they thought they were 100 percent secure, you know, they would reach out to me and they'd say, you know, Bob, remember we had that conversation? Maybe I should have joined back then. Well, you know, that's true. Confu Confucius said this, the best time to plant a tree was 20 years ago. The second best time is now. So how about now? Are you ready? And if you are, let's get together. Let's get in and let's discuss what your goals are and find a way to help you grow and create your dream life. So remember, as we're following up with people, we're looking for several different things. We're, we're actually looking for a customer. Remember, no, biz, no customer, no businesses. All businesses need customers. We're certainly looking for partners. If people want to be a business partner, that's awesome. But what if they don't want to be either? Well, how about a referral? And if you're in rapport and you have that no like, and trust relationship, you say, you know, John, I, I, I guess my, my product is really, you know, not for you at this point in time. And certainly the business isn't, but I'm here to help. I'm here to make the world better. Do you know anybody that would benefit from a partnership with me and my team? You know, we're connected to people that are profoundly successful and we have a vested interest in people's success and we ultimately want to get there. So when we get to the next decision, the next skill, closing is, is a, a one word term to put it, but basically you're going to help people to make a decision. It's been said that coaches help people do things they don't want to do so that they can become the type of person that they want to become. And I promise you, when you've got a great coach like Eric Worre in your corner, he's going to challenge you. He's going to know. He's going to have listened closely enough to understand what your needs, wants, or don't wants are. He's going to understand the buttons to push. Why? Because he's perfected that or as close to perfecting as you can get uh, over the last 33 years of diligent effort. And by his example, he is going to teach us. So you want to help people to do the things they don't necessarily want to do so that they can become the type of person that they want to become. So as we have this conversation, again, we're going to ask a lot of questions. And ultimately, you know, what, what's going on? What, what's keeping you from doing this? And then ultimately, once you have it all on the table, let's talk about each of those items. Uh, and Eric teaches an absolutely amazing progression. He asks, how much would you need to earn to make this worthwhile for you? And if you've been to his GoPro events, he'll ask for someone to be profoundly skeptical, profoundly skeptical. Uh, and, you know, ask him, okay, you know, one to 10, I like zero to 10. You know, if, if zero is no interest at all and 10 is, is you're ready to start right now, where are you at? Well, the last GoPro I was at in person, someone said negative five. You said negative five. That wasn't even on the scale. What's going on here? You must have a story. And then find out what their story is. You know, maybe they had a brother-in-law that, you know, overextended themselves and, and told themselves promises they couldn't keep. And then ultimately, you know, just dropped away like a lot of people do. We want to also be really good at setting expectations. But Eric Worre just kind of chuckled. He said, I get that negative five. And, and by the way, that's a story. You know, I, I can see where you'd be negative on that. But just hypothetically, just humor me here. How much would it make it, you know, would you need to make for that to be worthwhile for you? Uh, and, you know, they might say some crazy number like a, a million dollars a month. Well, interesting. 
you know, here's a woman and, and uh, she was previously a performing artist and, and no professional degrees or anything like that, but a couple million a month, you know, if she can do it, do you think you might be able to do it? A couple million a month, that exceeds what I was thinking. Well, that is how Eric moves people along the process with real stories that make a difference. Uh, and Eric's also said in network marketing, many people have a posture problem or maybe really across the profession. I don't mean they don't stand up straight with their shoulders down and back. You know, it's said that posture, how you enter the circumstance is what matters. And there's good posture, there's bad posture, and there's true posture. Good posture, you've learned to look the part, to act the part. You're starting to grow into that person. True posture, look at Eric Worre. Look at how he conducts himself. Uh, look and see how he interacts with full level of confidence. Where does that confidence come from? The seven skills. You know, and, and I'll make a comment on skills. One of my patients is a Hall of Fame Kung Fu world champion, multiple time world champion. And he trains people that become national champions even before they get a black belt. And I asked him one time, I said, Sifu, you know, how is it that you create national champions before people ever get a black belt? He says, Bob, it's very simple. I teach all of my students that if you master the basics, you'll seldom need anything else. So part of what we're going to do is we're going to work to master those basics. I listened to Bob Proctor this week. I love Bob Proctor. Bob's been on Eric's stage and he was broke and uneducated and no future in mind. And a, a mentor adopted him and said, Bob, if you listen to me, you know, you can have anything you want. Well, Bob said, you know, I, I didn't believe that I could have anything I want, but I believe that he believed it. I believe that Ray Stanford believed that. And here's what Eric teaches consistently. The belief of the leader can carry the day. When you believe strong enough, whether we're talking about Martin Luther King, Nelson Mandela, John F. K. with getting to the moon, whatever that is, if the belief is strong enough, you can ultimately get there. And remember, there's two limited beliefs. People don't either even, uh, they may not believe in themselves or they may not believe in the industry. Well, Eric did a great service for all of the network marketing industry when he created Rise of the Entrepreneur. And you look at these global icons all saying, look, this is the best start, the best entrepreneurial training school that there is in the history of the game. Uh, and how do you build believe in yourself? One day at a time, one improvement at a time. Plan, do, review uh, is another thing that Eric will consistently teach. Plan, do, review. He says, look, he's been doing that every day for 33 years uh, and hang out with him a little bit. Take a look at his lifestyle. If you get a chance to go to an in-person uh, beyond leadership, do it. When you see what he's created, you'll realize that these skills can be absolutely phenomenal. The sixth skill is helping your distributors start strong. And that's where duplication comes in. We had a great duplication workshop this week. But here's what I'll tell you I do. And you talk about duplicatable. I pull out the audio book version of GoPro, Seven Steps to Become a Network Marketing Professional. And I go to chapter nine. Even though it's skill six, it's chapter nine. And I play that chapter. I play game plan interview, part one. And then I play it. And basically, you're going to validate their decision. Look, you know, you may have had some challenges from here, but you've made a decision now. You've plugged into a team that's going places. You can create your best future. And then you go through each of the parts of the game plan interview. But Eric Worre talks about the crucial conversation. And the crucial conversation is, look, we are, our, our goal here is to make you as uh, uh, independent from me as quickly as possible. Do you agree that that's a good goal? Well, if it is, guess what? Now you start your plan because when people are independent, they now have a sufficient set of skill set, which by the way, is often just connecting with people and pointing to tools, connecting to people, pointing to tools. Uh, there's a phrase, don't be a fool, use a tool. Tools run the day in network marketing and teach them to do that. And when they get that level of independence, get there. And remember, you always want to keep it simple. So I love the uh, analogy, the example of Don King. Don King was an absolute master promoter and promotion is the seventh skill. Uh, and this is the one that everybody will tell you is the skill that is going to get the most mileage. Now, now I, I love quotes. So Archimedes said, give me a lever, 
long enough and a prop strong enough and I can single-handedly move the world. Well, think about that for a minute. I think the strongest lever is relationships. Relationships, relationships, relationships. You wanna have those relationships. The first six skills are basically about relationships and the seventh skill is going to maximize those relationships by promoting events. So, you know, one of the things that I did was attend all of Eric Worre's events since I, I uh, started building the business. And here's what I'm going to tell you. Our team grew from event to event to event. We treat it like a business. We map everything out. And after every event is a spike and then some sustained growth and a spike and sustained growth and spike and sustained growth. Uh, and the biggest spike we've ever experienced was for virtual GoPro. Well, why would that be? Well, I'll tell you what, it was a lot easier to get uh, 350 people to go online. That's what we had last year from, from our team. 350 people go online instead of paying for airfare, going to a hotel, going out three days. We encourage them, just block out the time, have total immersion. You know, listen to the speakers that are on stage. Who's gonna be on stage? Uh, typically million dollar earners or very, very close people that have a fantastic track record. And keep in mind, Eric is connected to all of them. We mastermind together. Uh, and on a weekly basis, we go through, hey, what's working? Are there any new challenges? How can we solve this? And the mastermind goes back a long, long way. Napoleon Hill wrote about it in Think and Grow Rich. I remember that book, you know, it was basically a consensus of 500 of the richest people in the history of the planet getting together and saying, look, you know, two or more people on a common purpose are a lot stronger than any one per person alone. Uh, and there's a, a thing I read about ideas way back when, but here, here's the, the way that I like to tell the story. You know, if, if I give you a dollar and you give me a dollar, well, we both have a dollar. Okay. But if I give you an idea and you give me an idea, now we have two. And it's fascinating how two ideas together are synergistic to often spin into a third or a fourth or a fifth or a sixth. Now imagine if there were a hundred people every week, the best of the best getting together and sharing those, those ideas. And who's the center point of it? Eric Worre, Marina Worre. They're in it, they're watching, they're seeing what's going on. You know, Eric has said, look, for every person you get to attend a major event, you know, this is when they're in person, about $1,000 for every attendee. Uh, you know what? I found last year was even stronger than that. We've got that wonderful award coming to us without making claims, uh, but it's very, very fun there. And, and, you know, how do we do it? We just plugged into the GoPro systems. Eric is a master teacher. He models it himself. So does Marina. You look at last year, they found out less than 90 days away from the event that, okay, we can't have an in-person event. How can we under-promise, over-deliver? Which, by the way, they always do. They invested $20 million in the, I won't even call it state-of-the-art. It was above state-of-the-art, cutting-edge, amazing studio that gave people the virtual experience where they felt like they were actually there. Now think about that. You can see yourself on screen, yet you are gonna participate in these activities. Speakers are gonna say, hey, Sally, you know, tell me your thoughts on this. And Joe, let's have a conversation. And there's coaching online, there's training online. This event has a $6 million speaker budget. And you're gonna see some of the best people uh, in the history of, of what's going on in the world right now, you're going to see opinion leaders, category leaders, influencers, world-class trainers, celebrities, entertainers. That's what they bring in. Why? Because they want to make this the best money that you've ever invested in yourself and in your future. You know, when I went to the first event, I, I tell people I went all in. I, I first Eric's first event, I, I bought five tickets. And so it was me and four team members. Uh, and then Eric said, you know what? Next year, we're going to have Sir Richard Branson and Tony Robbins since, you know, that's, that's a very high ticket event. Uh, you know what? If you buy one ticket, it'll be this price. If you buy 100 tickets, it'll basically be half price. And he said, if you're willing to go in for 100 tickets, which is $400 a ticket, 40000 come up here right now and take a picture with me on stage. Hey, I jumped right up and I took that picture. And here's what I'm going to tell you. 
that was the most important business decision I ever made because that next conference, we brought in our first diamond in, in the company. That's one of our elite leadership ranks. What's that worth to your future? Well, I'm going to tell you what. Uh, I think priceless because the amount of people that are getting better, the way lives are improving beyond amazing. So Eric, that is mostly going to wrap up the seven skills. Then I guess I'm going to end with a, with a simple challenge. Well, let, uh, you, let's, let's, let's not have okay. you end yet. Okay. Let, let's, let's add the challenge in just a bit. Uh, first of all, great, great content. Amazing. I do want to talk about GoPro for a second. And I also want to let people know, hang out because, um, I have a, a special little presentation from Paul Zane Pilzer, who is an economist, advisor to like four U.S. presidents, best-selling author. He loves network marketing, and uh, you're going to get some great content from him in just a little bit. But uh, as as uh, Dr. Bob talked about, you know, getting 100 people to go pro is a big deal for him. It, it was a game changer for him. Um, I want everyone that's involved in network marketing to be part of this year's GoPro. It is a virtual event. See what, what I have behind me, this incredible studio that will um, deliver this event to your home, but make it feel like you're face to face. Everybody's got a front row seat. Um, you know, you're part of the show. You're up on the screen. You could be called out by any of these celebrities at any moment and have a conversation with them. It's interactive. It's just incredible what this event does. And I want to show you, um, we have something special. Like he, he said, he bought uh, 100 tickets at $400 each. I want to give you a ridiculous, impossible, spectacular offer for those people ready to make a decision to be part of this year's event. This year's event is December 3rd through the 5th, December 3, 4, and 5. Bigger and better than ever. It's going to be the biggest event in network marketing history. Uh, rise above the rest. Learn from the best. We built a $20 million studio just for you. Tony Robbins. Other major um, presenters are going to be part of this. Celebrities are going to be part of this. Uh, I think it's going to blow your mind what this is going to do uh, for your business. And you need to be there. Okay? You're going to learn how to develop a million dollar mindset, how to grow your influence, how to engage new team members, how to become a, a great leader, how to implement the principles, how to find out what's working right now inside of network marketing. When you learn these things, you can have a breakthrough. So you can use this event to close this year strong and start next year amazing. Now, I want to make this impossible. A ticket, a normal ticket's $500, $497. Um, I want to do two things for you today if you're watching this, okay? Whether live or replay. One, I want you I want to give you a ticket for $197 instead of $497. Make a decision now to be part of this event December 3rd, 4th and 5th. Join the rest of the network marketing elite. Don't miss this. That's number 1. Number 2, I've created a power training system, a masterclass collection, nine courses, 25 plus hours, the best mindset and skills training ever offered in network marketing history, $3,200 worth of courses. I want to give that to you for free. If you get your GoPro ticket, I want to give you this power training $3,200 value for free. So if you get a ticket today, $197, I'll give you the Power Training Masterclass Collection for free. Now, if you already have a ticket to GoPro and you'd like to get that Masterclass series, just go to the same link I'm about to give you and scroll down and you'll see a link for existing ticket holders that you can get just that, the Masterclass course excuse me, the Power Training Masterclass course, um, those, those nine courses, the 25 hours of content, uh, the workbooks and downloads and PDFs and everything else, um, you can get that for just $97 to upgrade your existing ticket if you already have a ticket. So here's the link, special.gopro2021.com. If you're watching on, uh, uh, on a 
laptop or tablet or something or desktop, just take a, you know, just grab that uh, URL, or excuse me, QR code, or take a screenshot of this screen and make sure you get this link. This is a special link. It's it's more than half off of anything you can find anywhere online right now for people to get registered. I'm doing that because you're connected here, okay? So $197 instead of $499, you get the Power Training Masterclass Collection for free. $3,700 worth of stuff for $197, December 3rd, 4th, and 5th. So um, look, I can't help you if you're not willing to take a step. But if you're willing to take a step, I can help you. I've helped millions of people around the world. This is going to be the biggest event in network marketing history. There's approaching 60,000 people already registered. You need to be one of those people. It's going to be, it's, it's going to be uh, broadcast over 100 countries around the world, um, multiple languages. Uh, be a part of it. It's going to be special. So, and, and Dr. Bob talked about the value it did for his business and, and, and he was able to build this incredible business in a part-time effort with five other businesses, utilizing the leveraging, not only the training and, you know, he'll tell you what that $3,200 worth of training is worth, not only the training, but the events as a tool to be able to grow your business. So here's what I want to do. I'm going to leave this up, but I, I want you to hear from um, Paul Zane Pilzer. And then Bob and I will come back in just a moment. Okay. So check that out and we'll be back. We teach people how to be entrepreneurs, take charge of their life, um, you know, run their own life, get away from that job if they want to, have that extra income, build a career. Um, what do you see as the future? Well, ultimately, the companies that succeed today in network marketing, while they think it's their product or something that's unique, what they're really succeeding at is intellectual distribution distributing information about a product or service that will improve your life. Original network marketing was carrying goods, distributing when there wasn't UPS, there wasn't the post office, and you had to take them out of your trunk and lug product all over the place. Today, network marketing, virtually every network marketing company, is really about somebody teaching something else to someone, teaching a better method to someone, a better product, a better business way of doing business. And that is the strength of network marketing, and that's the bottleneck. As new technology comes up that would allow an Uber, an Airbnb, or so many things I'm studying in the sharing economy to exist, someone's got to teach the consumer how to use the new technology. And network marketing, while you think you're developing your wellness business, you're really developing your skill business at teaching other people new things. And that's going to be where the big money is. It already is in network marketing. That's going to be increasingly where there's more money in society because companies want to train you or teach you to go train people about their product. Nobody does that as well as the network marketing industry. Yeah, I agree with you. And what, one thing I would tell you that I learned from your book, Unlimited Wealth, way back in my early days in network marketing, is you talked about something in the book called the technology gap. The, the, the difference between where technology was and it's an inside of a company and where it could be. Where it could or individuals. Grow. The, the where, way in which you shave or drive to work and the better way you don't know about yet. And, and what little things sometimes stick in my brain and, and they change the way I think from then on. And from then on, I thought about everything that I did. Where was I on this skill, my personal skill, on finding people to talk to about my business? Where was I and where's the best? What's the best there is? What's the, the blue chip standard? And what, what steps do I need to take in order to get from where I am to where I, where I got? And every time I got to that next step, there was always something else. There was always a little growth. There was always somebody figured out a, a new way to be able to do it a little bit better, a little bit better. It's like climbing the mountains behind you as you climb each mountain peak. You see another higher peak, but you couldn't have seen it because yeah. the mountain was in your way. And then you get to the higher peak and there's another mountain in your way and you find there's always another higher mountain, a better way of doing something. But until you mastered the one you're challenged by, you didn't know there was another higher Well, way. instead of looking for the magic downline or the magic product or the magic compensation plan, I was looking for the magic me because of the technology gap idea in my head that you planted from your book that said, you had me go, okay, here's where I am on these, the seven skills of network marketing. Here's where I am in my own attitude. Uh, so talk about for a moment, just about the value of deciding to be a lifelong learner, the, the value of getting excited about a new idea. 
Um, and why network marketing rewards that so, so well and encourages that so well. Mm -hmm. You really, it's a, it's a question of faith. You, you go out to learn a better method. You master some area of a computer. You master some way of doing something. You learn a new network marketing technique to build your downline or communicate with people. And then you have faith to go, even though I just did all this and all the work, there's a better way out there. I'm going to have to ride and use what I just learned, but in three months or six months, I'm going to start again because there's always newer and better methods. And the people who succeed are the ones who adopt those the fastest. My quote back then in Unlimited Wealth was to the effect of, prosperity belongs to people who learn things the fastest. In the old days, you were told, learn this job, learn this function, do this and this better. You can, I can hear my parents than everybody else. Wrong, because if you stay focused on one thing, doing it better, there's a new method that's so much better that the person who uses the technology grows the fastest. You know, you know what I found is interesting in network marketing? That the companies can focus on innovation, but I don't need to focus too much on innovation. I actually need to focus, what, which is something much harder, I think, when it comes to a large group of people, is simplicity. That's the difference between being average and being exceptional, is how simple can I make it? How, how basic can I make it so it's doable for a brand new person and they can pass it on to the next mm -hmm. and they can pass it on to the next? So it's not really about necessarily massive innovation, being radically creative. I need to be creative and clever and strategic in my mind of how can I get it simpler? How can I say it clearer? Well, that's the true genius. The highest, the, so the best nuclear physicist can explain physics much better than the normal high school teacher teaching physics, even though he's explaining it to a 10 year old. And if you practice teaching, as you and I both have young children, practice teaching things to children in the eight to 16 year old range, that's when you learn how to, you really know it. You keep, I keep going back to the drawing board when my children ask me questions about economics or politics and I go, Oh, no, I really can't explain it yet. And I go back for hours to go get a five-minute explanation for them of something I thought I know. Only when you can teach it to a 12-year-old uh, do you really understand the subject. So, yeah, look, that's uh, uh, Dr. Paul Zane Pilzer, amazing guy. And a couple things that stand out in that conversation for me. Number one, learn it fast. If, you, if you're going to learn it, learn it fast. And... Uh, GoPro can help you learn it fast. These courses that I've that I've added, first time I've ever done that, $3,200 worth of courses for free if you get a ticket. Um, or you can upgrade your ticket for an extra $97. Go to that same link, scroll down, and you'll find it. Um, learn it fast, but also learn how to keep it simple. If I've figured anything out, it's how to take a complicated thing and work with a, the, a huge volunteer army in network marketing and help people understand it, simplify it, boil it down, uh, give, give it some, some basic steps so people will take more action. So, um, Dr. Bob, I mean, I'm going to leave this up there. I'm going to encourage everybody. Look, if this is rolling around in your brain, just take action. Decide you're going to do it. Do it today. I can't promise you how long this offer is going to be available, but do it. Take action for it. And, uh, Dr. Bob, talk about GoPro for a second and then give everybody your closing challenge. Oh, absolutely. You know, when you, again, look at how we get the fastest leverage, it's been said that the right event, the right mentor is both like a time machine and a money machine. It's going to accelerate your growth. It's going to accelerate your knowledge. It's going to be beyond motivating. You're going to have the skills right then and there. And all you have to do is apply. And the amazing thing is you give a roadmap at the end of it. The grand finale is here's the game plan for how you can apply. It doesn't matter where you are in the business. Here's how you apply it and you make it happen. And like I said, we've always had spikes from our business. The biggest spike ever was after virtual GoPro. The game plan did it. The motivation did it. The strategies did it. You know, people were there. They were engaged. They were part of the show. And Eric, you know, you, you, told a story in your book. You, you said, look, we've, you've got two people and let's say they each have a team of a hundred. And let's say one person says, I get it. This event is really going to take my game to the next level. And they went after it. They just promoted, 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 and they get their entire team to attend. The other person said, yeah, I can see the value. And they kind of mention it now and then, and they get a handful of people to attend. And then the question was, who's going to win in the following year? And as you said, you, you, know, you don't even have to ask that question. You get your team to this event, 
you know, we said last year, you get the team to the event, 2021 is done and in a beautiful way. Well, 2022 will be the year for you. So here's the challenge and the assignment. Uh, assignment simple, go get your ticket now, get the master class. And the challenge is to get your entire team there. Can the entire team do it? I promise you they can. If they've got a pulse, they've got a prayer, and a lot of people are looking for a prayer, this very well could be the answer to prayer. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Uh, listen, Dr. Bob, uh, thank you for your um, your contribution today. I really appreciate you. And uh, if you got some value from this, like I say, smash the share button, show your love, uh, you know, put a comment, one thing, in, into the into the chat, what's one thing that you got out of Dr. Bob's presentation or Paul Zane Pilzer's presentation that you're going to use to make a, a better business, a faster growing business? What's one thing? Um, put that into the comments. I'll look forward to seeing you next time. Until then, my wish for you is that you decide to become a network marketing professional. You decide to go pro. Hopefully, you decide to be part of GoPro 2021 um, because it is a stone cold fact. We have a better way. Now let's go tell the world. Everybody have a great day and I will see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.